In 2016, a new space survival game dropped out of absolutely nowhere. This game went by the name Astroneer and was a new early access title added onto Steam. For $20, Astroneer looked like it had some charm to it. The game started you off in an escape pod dropping onto a random planet. You and maybe a couple friends, since the game was co-op, would have to survive on this planet, looking for resources and build up your outpost. You could build rovers to traverse on, you could build spaceships to travel to other planets. Astroneer seemed to be a pretty well-developed game. and since it was only an early access, there would be a lot more updates to come. And in 2019, Astroneer would release as a full game on Steam with version 1.0. But today, this game is literally terrible. What were we thinking back then? This isn't fun. This isn't a fun game. I don't know how I have 37 hours on this game. I must have literally been tripping on acid for every single hour. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 need, I need some water. As far as ruining your game goes, the Astroneer developers shit the bed. If you thought No Man's Sky was a pointless and waste of time grind, do yourself a favor and never get near Astroneer. The current build of Astroneer is designed to appeal to new players for about six or seven hours and then say, fuck you. They're just making sure that you have the hours to be out of the refund window so their $20 is secure. For the first five or six hours, you'll actually have fun researching new things, discovering new caves and stuff, but soon you'll realize there is nothing else. The game has absolutely no replayability. Essentially, all you're doing in Astroneer is searching this extremely dead planet. No life, no cool structures, no cool things to even explore. The game's all about exploration, but there's nothing to explore. And you're looking for research to bring back to your base to unlock new blueprints. That is literally the entire game. Eventually, somewhere on the planet that you spawn on, you'll find a giant structure. This is the gateway. On an average playthrough of Astroneer, it can take you anywhere between 30 minutes and two hours to find this. Once you turn this gateway on and awaken the planet, by the way, you can do this in the first 30 minutes. You're done with that planet. There is not a drop left of content for you to explore on that planet anymore. Oh, oh, but Trello, there's six other planets in the game. Oh, I'm, I'm very well aware. But once you get the materials to build your spaceship and excitingly fly over to those planets you'll realize <laughs> It's absolutely no different. No life, no structures, no point of exploring, just another dry ass planet. And your objective on that planet is to do the same exact thing you did on the last planet. Open the gateway and then leave. The game really comes down to just gathering resources to go to different planets and do the same thing. You're not really ever exploring because there's nothing to explore. You're simply grinding for an objective that will give you nothing. The developers are almost completely at fault for this game's inevitable failure. Astroneer had several updates as it went from early access to 1.0. However, most of those updates focused on adding things that you can build, new structures, new vehicles, instead of focusing on the actual exploration part of the game. They never focused on how and where you'd find stuff. They only added on to what you did with that stuff. So regardless of there being more content in the game, it still felt shallow. I also believe the developers missed out on an easy way to revive the game, and that was by adding more threats. In Astroneer, there actually used to be these storms that would come out of nowhere and destroy your base and hurl your vehicles and resources into the air. And if you were out in the storm, it'd kill you super fast and you had to find shelter quick. But for some reason, they removed storms completely. They just took it out of the game. It's not on any planets. It's just gone. An entire feature completely removed. The developers never thought to add any NPCs. They never thought to add any wildlife or life in general. The only threats are plants. And these plants might be the most negligible threat you've ever seen. These are the type of plants that you go AFK in front of and don't think twice. The developers have also failed to fix a multitude of glitches in the game. One of the major ones being when you're playing multiplayer, you can literally lose your save file. This has happened to me on three separate occasions. I can't even imagine how much it happens in general. They literally removed the tutorial in the game, so new players just get a screenshot of how to play the game now. But there is one thing that the developers have done that is pretty unforgivable and pretty douchey overall. Astroneer is now a completed game. You know, the development is over with the exception of them making events every once in a while for the holidays and whatnot. Well, you know what ended this development? The addition of cosmetics. That's right, as if the Astroneer developers didn't already steal enough money from you when purchasing the base game, on the first tab of the pause menu is a fat, juicy store cosmetic page. Here, you can buy overpriced emotes, skins, visors, whatever you want to buy, for the minimum price of $5. You see each of these items? Each of these are literally 5 bucks. This is now a $30 co-op survival game that is charging literally five dollars per shitty cosmetic there's over five hundred dollars worth of items you can purchase in this store this is what the development time went to with the addition of these cosmetics the development of the game ended
completed and Astroneer was a completed title. There are still countless bugs in the game that have yet to be fixed and they likely never will. I'm truly a believer that Astroneer was a money grab. Astroneer once had a lot going for it, but over time, the developers simply just degraded their own game. They made poor decisions that led to the game being less replayable than it was originally. For a game worth $30 like Astroneer, it is not worth it at all because you'll be done having fun at the 5 hour mark. Astroneer is truly a sad survival game. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. If you enjoyed even more, make sure to join the Discord down below in the description. And most importantly, tell me down below if you guys think Astroneer is actually a good game. Without further ado guys, I'm Trey Lowe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.